There's no better place to find the biggest, most expensive yachts than the French Riviera during the summer months. The mountains come right down to the azure waters of the Mediterranean. The scenery, the boats, and the people are beautiful. In Cannes, there's quaint, windy streets, world-class hotels and beaches, and it's all surrounded by a bay that makes this ultra-chic town one of the premier yachting destinations. This spacious port is also home to the International Cannes Boat Show. The champagne is flowing as wealthy buyers check out the latest and greatest in multi-million dollar yachts. However, we made special arrangements for an exclusive getaway on the biggest and fastest open boat ever made, the Mangusta 130, named Graziella. As she's preparing for departure, we can admire Graziella's 130 feet of sleekness and a crew that must have been chosen to complement this yacht's sexiness. It's out here that we can really see what makes this boat special. Pure power. The 130 Mangusta is a really hot new boat. It's fast, it's sleek, it's attracting a really young crowd, a crowd that wants to try and do everything and pack it all in in one day. The Graziella's twin jet engines throw the prop wash 10 feet in the air and leave a wake that stretches a quarter of a mile behind us. This 160-ton yacht slices open water like a steak knife. The Mangusta 130 is an open boat, which means her superstructure is designed very low to make her aerodynamic and incredibly fast. Her 8,000-gallon tank gives us 500 nautical miles of autonomy, which means that the entire Mediterranean is at our fingertips. But for this trip, we're taking you to one of the choicest spots, the Les Rins Islands in the beautiful Bay of Cannes. With sparkling sunshine and turquoise waters, this is the perfect place to drop anchor and enjoy the spacious decks. She offers indulgence and comfort from stem to stern. The bow is sun-drenched and perfect for bronzing on the massive mattress or for snacking on the twin tables. And this being France, snacking isn't just beer and chips, but vintage wines with regional cheeses. And the best fruits and rosé from Provence. Yet more mattresses await at the stern. Day is drifting into dusk, and we hate to leave this Mediterranean paradise. No problem. If we want to spend the night, the Graziella's got that covered too. Just step inside. The Mangusta 130 can accommodate eight guests and six crew in total comfort. And you'll quickly see that although she's a speedboat, no detail has been spared to also make her an extremely luxurious boat. The interior of the Mangusta is beautiful. It's contemporary. It's just as sleek as its exterior. It has all the amenities that one could possibly need, which is one of the reasons it brings the price tag up to close to $25 million. The layout is very intimate, with an elegant dining room abutting the main salon, and the wheelhouse is just steps away. Touch a button here and feel the reaction here in the engine room. Twin Kamiwa hydrojet engines provide 3,750 horsepower, but they also stand out for their ability to reduce noise and vibration, which equates to an unparalleled level of silence and stillness, which you'll surely appreciate when you're trying to catch some Zs in the master suite. Although it shouldn't be too hard to relax in such a stylish setting. The bedroom exudes sexiness with its Italian design and a giant flat-screen TV that pops out of a custom cabinet. In the bathroom, it's an overflowing of rich materials with a jacuzzi tub surrounded by marble. Down the hall, there's a cushiony lounge for the most intimate entertaining. After spending the night in one of the most sophisticated guest cabins, dreaming about fun in the sun, your dreams can become a reality again in the morning. And after an alfresco breakfast on the aft deck, it's time to go. And the Graziella was built for just this kind of get-up-and-go lifestyle. It only takes minutes to rev up the powerful jet, hoist the anchor, and set out for another action-packed adventure on the Mediterranean's sexiest boat.
Despite its $25 million price tag, this yacht's speed and elegance put it in such high demand that the Rodriguez Group, the company that manufactures them, are sold out for the next two years. Care to put your name on the waiting list? The exclusive world of super yachts is opening its doors to our amazed senses. As the wind caresses our skin, the soft lapping of the sea serenades our ears, and the finest in fine fares from around the world delights our palate. We're living it up, super yacht style. Vancouver, Canada is one of the most beautiful cities in North America, and it's here where we're meeting up with Absinthe. This private 201-foot adventure yacht has got all the amenities and indulgences of a five-star hotel. Plus, something to really push the sightseeing envelope, an onboard helicopter. When they're not using it, Absinthe's owners are willing to share this amazing combination with you at a cost of $350,000 per week. What you get in return is one of the most unique vacations on the planet. First, Absinthe takes you up the Canadian Inside Passage, past miles of the untouched splendor of the Pacific Northwest, all the way up to Alaska. The mission is to provide something that's totally unique. We're all about increasing people's experience, not only of life and of events around them, but also within themselves. Although the wildlife and scenery has kept us on deck for most of the trip, it's time to check out the interior of this luxury adventure yacht. First stop is the lounge, decorated with a playful mix of colorful fabric and eclectic furniture. Two stewardesses from the 20-person crew welcome us with a cocktail made from the French liqueur from which Absinthe gets her name. Just strain the liquor over boiling sugar and serve. Next stop is the massage room, where you'll be thrilled to discover that one of the stewardesses is also a licensed massage therapist. In the restaurant-sized galley, one of Canada's master chefs and his assistant have been busy preparing a veritable fresh seafood feast. The benefits of being in the Northwest Pacific, we are getting the freshest fish you can find in the cleanest waters. A lot of people say that they go to Europe and they get some of the best food that they can, but I believe that we are just as good or better than anywhere else in the world. A good place to kick back and enjoy the chef's offerings is the cozy Sky Lounge on the Absinthe's top deck. The wild salmon sushi and Alaskan king crab complements this beautiful space designed with a Northwestern theme. Even the silverware is as local as the seafood, with its Native American accents. Downstairs in the main salon, there's a formal dining room and a grand piano. Absinthe can comfortably seat 12 guests at the main table. With its swirly chairs and stylish tableware, the decor is just as interesting as the food, and each meal is accompanied by just the right wine. If you're interested in specific wines or wines from a certain region, the sommelier can work with you and help you choose the perfect wines for each meal. After dinner, you can retire to the screening room and melt into the plush leather couches while catching the latest movie or the news via satellite TV. However, if you want to catch up on your email or read, there's a library filled with travel books on the Pacific Northwest. Meanwhile, the captain stands watch on the bridge. Absinthe is totally wired with state-of-the-art satellite navigation, communications, and sonar and radar. And as the captain keeps on course, the guests can get a good night's sleep in nine beautifully appointed suites located down this wood-paneled corridor. Each stateroom has been decorated with custom fabrics and beautiful wood cabinetry and paneling. But the most elaborate is, of course, the spacious master suite, which comes complete with a giant flat screen and a workspace. All this luxury has ensured that we're well rested, which is a good thing because Absinthe is totally tricked out as an adventure yacht, and now it's time to pull out the toys and explore. First up, a helicopter tour. There's no better way to get a bird's eye view of the spectacular scenery of the Pacific Northwest and Alaska, unless it's landing to take a hike with one of Absinthe's outdoor guides. Even though the air is chilly, the secret hot spring makes everything worthwhile. If fishing is your thing, Absinthe has heli-assisted fly fishing in waters that can only be described as awesome. Absinthe's crew will also take you out on a tender and assist you in catching dinner. And these waters are also perfect for paddling. 
Absinthe comes with several kayaks that will take you up close to the whales and seals who seem more than willing to share their natural habitat with you. Of course, if you really want to immerse yourself, just dive in. However, if you're really adventurous and like to ski, Absinthe and its helicopter can perform miracles. The great thing with Absinthe in the wintertime is she's your floating ski lodge. It allows you to use the helicopter and you can go to the highest peaks where the powder is fine and no one else has been there. And when you get hungry, the helicopter will make a special trip back, bringing fresh Northwest sushi. After lunch, it's back to a glorious afternoon of smooth, knee-deep powder on more than a million acres of untouched terrain and breathtaking views. And whenever you want to call it quits, the helicopter will whisk you back to your floating ski lodge. On board, we're reminded that Absinthe is one of the most unique and exciting luxury yachts in the whole world. Want to discover what it's like to cruise the Mediterranean on one of the world's most beautifully restored yachts? It's coming up next on Luxury Yachts. Recipe for the most exclusive vacation in the world? Mix one part salt water with a few drops of sunshine, a sprinkling of speed, and a few million dollars worth of boats. Welcome back to Luxury Yachts. From the Pacific Northwest's fjords and rivers to the French Riviera, we're traveling the world and the seven seas on board the most beautiful yachts in the world. While the French part of the coast packs in the glamour, the Italian part of the coast delivers charm by the boatload in a sprinkling of colorful coastal jewels like the town of Imperia, an historic town for an historic yacht. Originally commissioned by a Greek tycoon, Istros was the largest private yacht built after World War II. Her new owner, Roger Sandiford, has lovingly restored her and the result is one of the most beautiful classic yachts in the Mediterranean. She's great for cruising too. So let's pull out of the harbor and begin a journey into a bygone era of a more elegant and simple time. Captain Roger Bolton deftly steers Istros out of the harbor using the original telegraph control to submit his order to the engine room, which has also been completely restored. Now that the journey has begun, we can sit back and enjoy the cruise. We'll be sailing from Italy past Monaco to Villefranche on the French Riviera. Cruising along this breathtaking coastline is, is one of the best experiences, especially on a yacht such as Istros, with a beautiful pace that she allows our guests to enjoy every second of the journey. With a first mate, a crew of 10, and a keen eye, the captain keeps us on course so that we can turn our eye to the view as it slowly unwinds before us. When you're at sea, you're separate from the rest of the world. You get the, the wind and the rain and the sunshine, and it's just a fantastic experience to be in this constantly moving environment. These are the simple pleasures of the good life, but keep in mind as we motor along, the fuel alone costs about $500 an hour. When the Sanfords feel like socializing with the crew, the wheelhouse is often a gathering place. And the crew are all hand-picked and are like a big extended family. As the Riviera unravels before our eyes, we pass by the world-renowned Monaco port, and the best view is right here on Istros with her unhurried ladylike pace. When you're cruising from Italy to the south of France, it covers a coastline that is breathtaking, seascapes, sharp and robust mountains that dive right into the ocean. It's, it's really a, a breathtaking area. We ease into the scenic harbor of Villefranche, one of the most popular places to anchor in the Riviera. As the dusk settles, the warmth and elegance of Istros becomes even more apparent. Around 
rather than rectangular table creates a more intimate setting, and using placemats rather than a full tablecloth allows the beauty of the woodwork to reach its full glow. The award-winning wine comes from Roger's own vineyard in South Africa. After dinner, the Sandifords usually spend the evening in the salon. A beautiful inlaid divider maximizes the space. On one side, card table and reading chairs for quiet evenings. And on the other, comfy sofas to entertain in. But we didn't come all the way to the Riviera just for a quiet evening in. Where's the party? Here in the south of France, there's always a party on one yacht or another, where the guests are beautiful and the champagne flows at will. No need to book a hotel suite on this trip. When you're tired of the high life, it's back to Istros for a peaceful night wrapped in the classic elegance of the master suite and rocked by the gentle lull of the Mediterranean. And when we wake up, Istros has got a couple of toys for us to play with, like the Solway Maid, a very special sailboat. Personally, I, I quite enjoy cruising around Nistros, but it's not exciting enough for me. Adding to the journey, Roger has a crew following him with the Solway Maid, so he can get all the comfort of a super yacht and all the fun of a striking sloop that's fast enough to compete in the Mediterranean's classic sailboat circuit. And that's not all. Roger's got another collector treasure for us to play with. Good things come to those who wait, and while you need a little patience and elbow grease to get this hot little toy down from the top deck, it's well worth it. This Riva Olympic is a blast from the past. It's been on Istros since she was built in 1953, making her a true collector's item, valued at over $100,000. And with her varnished teak and shiny chromes, she captures all the glamour and romance of the Riviera. Istros, along with the Solway Maid and the Riva Olympic, have clearly demonstrated that classic elegance can be combined with boatloads of fun. As we zip over the marina at Cap Ferrat, we're on our way to our next million dollar adventure. Gotta head for numbers? Then digest these digits. 18,000 square feet is the world's largest sail, hanging from the tallest mast in the world, which towers 292 feet above the largest sloop in the world. A $90 million beauty, coming up next on Luxury Yachts. Location, location. If you're having trouble choosing one for your next vacation, no worries, just choose a vacation that moves. And we don't mean an RV. When money is no object, a luxury yacht vacation is the object of our desires. From the Pacific Northwest, its wildlife and laid-back luxury, to the sun-drenched glamour of the Mediterranean, its nightlife and gourmet delights, we're taking you to some of the most coveted locations on Earth in total style. Here's something you don't get to do every day. Take a white knuckle sail on a private sailboat valued at $90 million and custom built to be fast, luxurious, and very, very large. At 246 feet long, with a mass that towers above the ocean at 292 feet, Mirabella 5 is the biggest sloop in the world and it weighs in at 1,004 tons. It required a visionary to dream her up and millions of dollars to make her real. The result is a powerful nautical marvel, and the owner has invited us to go for a ride of a lifetime. I decided I was going to build the largest sloop in the world. It's been a great challenge, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Mirabella 5 has such massive sails that the power that it achieves is unbelievable. To be heeled over on one side with water crashing over the sides and cruising with wind just flying through the sails is really an impressive moment and one that usually stays with you for a while. Mirabella 5 has redefined nautical engineering standards, resulting in a state-of-the-art jaw-dropping super yacht. Our journey starts in Monaco, without a doubt one of the most glamorous places in the world. A tiny princedom on the Mediterranean coast, it's always been a favorite playground for royalty and jet setters. And since the toy of choice for these wealthy players is the super yacht, Monaco is also one of the best places to check out the biggest boats. 
It's here where we met up with Mirabella Fai. One of Mirabella's biggest achievements is that she has all the spunk and power of a sailboat with the size and accommodations of a luxury motor yacht. Let's check out the interior. As soon as we step inside, it becomes apparent that no detail has been overlooked. Custom cabinetry and paneling using pale cherry wood and oak flooring are combined with a neutral palette striking a mood of upscale minimalism. The main salon is so expansive that it features three separate areas for entertaining. Martinis at the graciously curved bar are sure to start the evening off right. Then it's dinner around a lily-strewn table. Twelve guests can dine in an atmosphere worthy of a five-star restaurant. Even with a big group of guests, there's room for intimate conversations in one of the two sofa arrangements. A beautifully crafted detail is the inlaid walnut and rosewood game table by Lindley's of London. Everything is so spacious and elegant that it's hard to believe we're on a sailboat built for speed. My wife was really totally responsible for the interior of the boat. All of the furniture, bringing in the antiques, these are all things that she spent months and months on to get just the way she wanted it. The master suite is bigger than most presidential suites in luxury hotels. We enter through a spacious study, a versatile room that's as comfortable for work as it is for intimate entertaining. Just imagine curling up with a good book on this double-wide sofa and its abundance of throw pillows. The private study leads into a richly appointed bedroom with silk-upholstered, king-sized bed, lush oriental rugs, and Regency antiques. In the bathroom, however, nothing so fancy is needed to create a romantic atmosphere. Just candles and bubbles. And the natural luxury of pure white lilies. And it's not just the owners that can bask in such luxury. Down this corridor, lined with contemporary nautical photographs, lie six beautiful staterooms, each with spacious, comfortable accommodations for family and guests. From the wheelhouse, it's the view of Monaco that seems to shimmer like gems. And all the high-tech equipment is just as brilliant. It's what keeps this enchanted domain connected to the outside world. All the latest in navigation and communication systems. But for an even stronger shine factor, just step out on the top deck. All the magic of a super yacht vacation comes to play in a moment like this. A candlelit evening under the stars in one of the most coveted locations on Earth. And to top things off, Mirabella's crew has concocted some colorful cocktails that can only add to the glow. It's so romantic and peaceful up here that it's hard to believe that during the day, this is where all the action takes place. All the luxury might have made you forget that this is, before all, a sleek and powerful sailing machine, which we're lucky enough to take out for a spin along the French Riviera, from Monaco to Golf Juan. As we leave port, we're reminded that Mirabella is also a state-of-the-art motor yacht equipped with two sophisticated V12 1,000-horsepower engines that transmit 800 kilowatts of power through a gearbox to the propeller. Once Mirabella's custom-built 23-foot tender is safely stored in its special garage, we're ready to hit the high seas. The captain is required to have knowledge of both motor yachts and sailboats. When it actually comes time to bring a yacht of 247 feet into a sailing position, it really is a crucial moment. The level of responsibility is actually quite high. The main task, obviously, is to put up the mainsail. It takes six of us to do that. One is driving the boat. There's one controlling the sail, controlling the, the angle of the boom. Then we have somebody standing forward who is passing on the, the, the hand signals. And then we have a couple of guys down below working the winches. The teamwork and technology all come into play to prepare Mirabella 5 for what she's built to do, cruise the open sea. Once the sail is up, it's a truly exhilarating sight. The main sail weighs one and a half tons, and the Genoa in front is the largest sail in the world at 18,000 square feet. Special ropes had to be custom designed and produced to handle the incredible pressure of the wind gushing into the colossal sail area needed to propel Mirabella's 1,004 tons. It's a very powerful machine. Once we get a decent breeze, this thing powers along it comfortably at 16, 17 knots. And she'll go faster, but I just haven't had a chance to really take advantage of that yet. 
conditions turned out to be ideal for pushing Mirabella to the limits that day. Like a floating record book, the biggest sloop in the world with the biggest sail and the tallest mast in the world also broke her own speed limit. With the wind howling and the waves crashing, we reach speeds of 19 knots, the fastest Mirabella has ever gone. The pleasure of, of sailing at the speed you sail at, with no noise, no engine, no smoke, nothing to bother you, is an experience that really is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. The Mirabella 5, a once-in-a-lifetime experience on board a once-in-a-lifetime boat. We're going to keep right on setting records. Coming up on luxury yachts, the most expensive yacht in the world. And a very special boat chock full of toys in the Pacific. Welcome back to luxury yachts. When you're on holiday, you don't want to do anything but relax, right? Super yachts come fully loaded with all the best amenities, but one of the most enjoyable may be the human factor, the service. With a gourmet chef to cook the fine fare, a smiling stewardess to serve it, a highly trained captain to stay the course, engineers down in the engine room, and deckhands for tight maneuvering, we don't need to lift a finger. We've found the most decked out, adventure filled vessel to explore one of North America's most awe inspiring regions, and we're leaving right now. The Pacific Northwest's Vancouver Island offers miles and miles of protected coastline reaching from Seattle up the jagged coast of Canada's British Columbia and the Pacific Yellowfin is the perfect boat to cruise these pristine waters. One of the last wooden ships built for World War II, the Pacific Yellowfin was lovingly restored by her new owner. Born in Ireland, Colin Griffinson is a gilder and custom painter by trade captain by choice and self-confessed wooden boat addict. And I'm unashamed to admit it, I have wooden boat disease. There should be a wooden boat anonymous to help us poor souls that have the disease. These old girls cost a lot of money to maintain and we have as much fun maintaining them as we have sailing them. Once you're aboard Pacific Yellowfin, you feel like family. You can put your feet up and relax, and with a price at about $50,000 for a week, including the fuel, she's a great price for any charter client. The reason why we have it is because we think it fits perfectly into our backyard where we sail, and that's the Pacific Northwest. As the sun sets over Vancouver Island, we head into the open waters of Vancouver Sound towards Montague Bay. It's the perfect spot to spend the night and discover that Yellowfin's interior was just as lovingly restored as her exterior. Using precious woods like teak and mahogany, Robert Lettingham, one of Vancouver's top interior design firms, created a wonderfully cozy main salon. And for those cool Pacific Northwest nights, there's a real wood-burning stove in the hand-decorated tile alcove. This warm, open space has a friendly country feel. And the solid wood refectory table is always decked out with local offerings like British Columbia ice wine. Pacific Yellowfin can accommodate up to 12 guests in a series of charmingly quirky rooms. As for the master, it boasts a beautiful four-post bed and an all-in-one bathroom with exposed copper piping. Right now, the tide is saying time to go to bed. We have a very full day ahead of us tomorrow. Waking up to the natural glory of the Pacific Northwest is a real treat. And on top of unspoiled scenery, Pacific Yellowfin's got even more to offer. A whole lot of activity. The decks are chock full of tenders and toys that help transform this cruise into a real adventure. We try to keep our guests really, really busy with uh, activities on the boat and on the shoreline. The two custom-built aluminum tinnies are the perfect bridge between the mothership and mother nature. The 23-footer takes us ashore to enjoy some of Galliano Island's miles of graded hiking trails. If you want to add a little speed to your enjoyment of the scenery, we can just load these all-terrain scooters onto the 22-foot launch. Then unload, a quick lesson, and off we go.
afraid the noise is going to scare away the wildlife, there are quieter ways of exploring the island. With Pacific Yellowfin's fleet of ocean-going kayaks, you can really hug the coastline and discover all that the endless fjords have to offer. And with the Pacific Yellowfin keeping a watchful eye, there's nothing to worry about. Yellowfin has several sailing skiffs that offer a great way to get really close to the sea. But the best way to enjoy this awesome environment is really by kicking back on the Yellowfin herself. With her classic wooden lines and smooth pace, she blends right into the scenery without distracting us from it. And that's thanks to her vintage engines. The two Atlas Imperial 16-ton six-cylinder engines are original, and they were completely taken apart and rebuilt bolt by bolt by marine engineer Jack Dixon. The exposed valve gear and push rods make it fun to watch, but it requires nerves of steel to operate. The engines are direct reversing. There's no gearbox. Once you fire them up, that's it. You're moving. You have to drive this boat like it's a ship. But maybe it's that little bit of extra work that really makes us appreciate Yellowfin and the scenery and activity she enables us to discover. She even offers some sports that aren't traditionally associated with the sea, like golfing. Before dinner, we have our guests uh, smack some golf balls off into the ocean. They seem to get a great kick about the fact that they don't have to go and retrieve them. Did somebody mention dinner? After all this activity, we're hungry, and the fantail deck is the perfect place to enjoy fresh seafood washed down with refreshing local beer. Yellowfin offers the best of both worlds, all the luxury adventure of a super yacht vacation for a more affordable price. And even saying goodbye can be fun when it's done in a seaplane flying over some of the most beautiful scenery in North America. She is a small ship that can get up and go anywhere at any time. We have 18,000 gallons of diesel on board. We can simply go to China if we so wish. Coming up next on Luxury Yachts, a $100 million mega yacht that you can have all to yourself for a million dollars a week. Welcome back to Luxury Yachts. We've taken a few super yachts for a spin and we've discovered that there's a lot more to a seabound vacation than just the sea. To name a few, there's fine dining, fun flicks, private screening rooms, kayaking, swimming, snoozing in luxury suites, helicoptering, fishing, hiking, biking, soaking, whale watching, romancing on the foredeck, living it up at night and cooling down during the day, sightseeing, sailing and golfing, and of course, just kicking it back. Welcome to Beaulieu, one of the most sought-after locations on the French Riviera. The little streets, historic churches, and a port situated under towering cliffs add up to a picture-perfect town of quaint European charm. But there's nothing quaint about our next super yacht. We're here for a rendezvous with one of the biggest private boats in the world, the 279-foot Annalise. Annalise is the biggest and most luxurious charter yacht that's been built to date. She can accommodate up to 36 guests at a cost of about a million dollars per week. This makes her the most expensive yacht. It is now truly for the billionaires of this world. And since Annalise is too big to fit into Beaulieu's marina, she graciously sent a tender to come pick us up. As we get closer, the sheer magnitude of this mega yacht makes it obvious this is going to be a one in a million experience. First of all, there's the crew. All 36 of them at your beck and call. And then the sumptuous accommodations. When the Greek yachting tycoon Andreas Laveras designed Annalise, he made sure every detail was fit for some of the most demanding people on earth. A client wants to have a floating palace. People love big boats. We are serving royalty and, uh, and, and, and personalities, the millionaires. In Annalise's 1,000 square foot owner's suite, it's panoramic windows and the entire front of the boat at your disposal for 180 degree views of the Mediterranean. A marble staircase takes us down to the guest accommodations, where Annalise has room for 36 in 17 staterooms that line her main and upper decks. Each room is more indulgent than the next, so feel free to bring your entire family, or an entire office, or your entire town. Want to impress your potential partner while discussing your next merger? Just put him up in the VIP suite for a few days and the deal is sure to go through without a hitch. 
And it's not just in the VIP suite. You feel like a VIP anywhere on Annalise. Dining on the upper deck is an experience one isn't likely to forget. You know, the south of France is the most magic place to be, where in the evening the lighting is so beautiful. You can have dinner on the deck and it's really magic. The view of Beaulieu at dusk is enough to start a thousand romances. But then there's the beautiful table settings with monogram napkins and whimsical shell centerpieces. And since they can't do anything on a small scale here, there are not one but two 18-seat dining tables. And here come two more. No need to worry if the weather turns, just move downstairs to the dining room. Gold tableware, crystal glasses, and mirrored ceilings. It's the little details of luxury that add up to a fully lavish experience for you and 35 of your closest friends. For after dinner drinks, again, two choices. The first option is the upstairs lounge, a sleek and contemporary space featuring a bar for relaxed conversation and several clusters of massive armchairs to sink in and stare at the flat screens. Then there's the old-fashioned grandeur of the main salon. The main salon on Annalise is over 2,000 square feet, which is larger than most average homes here in America. And they have a grand piano, it has several different seating areas. There's so many different things you can do that you almost don't feel as though you're with a group of people when you're bored. A third option for spending the evening is a movie in the private screening room. But what keeps the guests really satisfied is what most of them never even see, the crew quarters, with a laundry room for freshly pressed linen and a buffet for the 36 men and women who keep Annalise going. Also hidden below deck is the impressive engine room which keeps this mastodon in motion. This maze of machinery stretching to two stories and several thousand square feet is all monitored via computer by two full-time engineers. But ultimately, the responsibility for everything on board Annalise rests in the hands of one man, the captain. He lures over this high-tech and luxurious domain from a wheelhouse modeled after the Queen Mary's. Sonar, radar, depth finders, satellite and radio communications, safety monitors, all this equipment allows the captain to control the rest of the boat and to navigate the restless sea outside. If you've been worrying about the price of gas, consider this. Annalise can go 7,000 miles on a full tank, but that tank full costs $50,000. And if that stresses you out, we have the perfect solution. The spa. Just when we thought we'd seen it all, Annalise has got one more secret. The main thing that makes Annalise so special is her spa. It's probably the largest spa on a private yacht. This is your world-class spa that is just for you and your friends. In addition to the spacious common area, there's a man's side and a woman's side, each with their own hot tub, sauna, and steam room. They also offer massage, hair dressing, they have manicure and pedicure available. There's all kinds of different treatments and it's all with products that are made specifically for Annalise. But if you're still not relaxed enough, just step into the meditation room Chaise lounges and fish tanks make guests as comfortable as a fish in water. And while you're enjoying the spa, there's a playroom for the children and of course there's staff members who can take care of them. So they're having a great time and you're having a great time. And up on the top deck sits another one of Annalise's four hot tubs for those who like to bask in the double warmth of the jacuzzi and the sun. A dream for lavish daytime entertaining, the top deck features two bars. One for the stewardess and her refreshing offerings, and one for the gourmet chef and his hot off the grill delights. This is six star service because you have a staff that is waiting on no one else but you, as opposed to having an entire hotel uh, full of people that they need to be taken care of. As with any self-respecting super yacht, Annalise has got a helicopter landing pad to whisk guests on board in total comfort. But here, it's been transformed into a beautiful circular seating area as a special request from a Saudi prince who charters the yacht for two months every year for the cost of $8 million. But the result is well worth it. An alfresco salon to enjoy the view of one of the most famous coastlines in the world. And Annalise is the ultimate sea and be seen yacht to cruise down this beautiful coast. 
No other boat even comes close, except her twin sister. And Elise's owner likes boats so much that he built not one, but two 279-foot, $100 million mega yachts to cater to his needs and those of his charter clients. In the last 10 years, the amount of billionaires in the world has doubled. The owner of Anna Elise, and he had a hunch a few years ago that more and more billionaires would be coming into the yachting market and wanting to have this type of luxurious vacation. And he was right. Even at a million dollars a week, Annalise and her sister ship are mostly fully chartered by the world's richest people seeking the ultimate vacation. We've been privileged to hit the high seas and cruise on some of the most amazing boats afloat. Adventurous and indulgent, these ships have all thrown away the rule book to achieve new nautical heights. The tallest, the biggest, the most expensive, or simply the most fun. Each is the product of an owner's dream, an engineer's ingenuity, or a designer's creativity. So as far as luxury yachts go, the sea's the limit. Jets are sleek, sexy, and fast. They can go almost anywhere in the world in style. Executives, sports figures, and movie stars have switched to private jets. We'll show you what three to fifty million dollars will buy these demanding flyers. Since security is a constant concern, the plane and everyone on board must be kept safe. The job doesn't end.